Buy George Kittle. So as I said in my 15 transactions column, simply selling high and buying low in fantasy football won't get you very far. I mean, there are times where I need to talk about selling high and buying low, but you can't just continuously do that and think that you're going to win. You can't just be obvious. So here's a buy high stance. Buy George Kittle, get George Kittle. Kittle had a lot going for him entering the year. He had a shallow 49ers pass catching depth chart. He had strong efficiency during his rookie season, and he had higher than expected usage in the red zone last year. He didn't see a high percentage of the team's targets last year, but he still finished with the sixth most targets within the opponent's 10 yard line at the tight end position. And then in week one against Minnesota, which wasn't an easy matchup, Kittle ended up seeing nine of a possible 33 Jimmy Garoppolo targets for a 27% target share, with two of those looks coming in the red zone. Now Marquise Goodwin was banged up and he only played about 26% of the 49ers snaps, and that might have forced looks towards the middle of the field and towards George Kittle a bit. But Kittle clearly will be part of this offense in 2018. He's somehow still on over 60% of ESPN Fantasy League waiver wires, but even if he's not available in your league, it's not a bad idea to shoot a trade offer to the Kittle owner because he could be a very legitimate tight end asset this year.